So we'll write a program and declare an array of integer type with seven elements in it. Display the address of the individual elements in the array. Remember, we need to print the address, not the value. So you can declare int arr as the name of the array of seven. So this is declaration of array. Now what we can do, we can print, print the addresses. So to print the addresses, we can take another variable called i for running the loop. Okay. And then we'll write a for loop for i equals to 0 this time because array index starts from 0. i is less than 7. Why less than 7? Because the size of the array is 7. So if we count 0 to 7, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it will be 7 elements. And then i should be incremented each time the loop body executes. Okay. And in the loop body, what we are going to do? We are going to print the address. So to print the address, we'll write printf followed by first bracket or parenthesis and within double quotes i'll write the format so the format could be either percent p or percent u if you give percent u your address will be in unsigned integer i'll show you both okay and if you use percent p it will be in hexadecimal so i'll write address of first element I cannot write first here because then every time it will be displaying first element. So I will write address of element percent d. So here the first element should be displayed. One should be displayed actually element one okay of the array. So it will be achieved by the value of i which is zero plus one. Clear? And for displaying the address, we'll write equal sign followed by percent p. So this time address will be in hexadecimal. So what will be the address? We'll put address operator in front of the array element. So the first element will be sorry, arr is the name of the array, arr of i. Why i? Because it is not a fixed value, it is a variable. So first time i is 0, so it will be displaying the address of the first element. When i becomes 1, it will be displaying the address of the second element like this. So after printing, we must come down to the next line. Otherwise, the output will be haphazard. Okay. So if I put semicolon, save the code and run, see it is printing the address. It is E00, then E04, so there is a gap of 4 bytes. C is 12, so 8 plus 4 is 12. And 16 is 10, 10, then 14, 8. So address is incrementing by 4 because each integer in array will store, occupy 4 bytes. So array is contiguous memory allocation and thus the gap between two elements is 4. Done. Now, how you can pin, print the address in uh, unsigned integer? I have to specify percent %u for that. If I specify percent %u, I'll be able to print the address in this mode. Now, see, we will better understand the address. 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Clear? There is a gap of 4 bytes. Clear? Now, is there any other way we can print the address? So if I uh, go for base address, okay, then also you can print the. So ARR, the name of the array is the base address. Okay, if I do ARR plus zero, then we'll uh, remain in the same base address. There is no problem. So ARR plus I, which is zero initially, 
will give me the base address. Then when i becomes 1, it will be base address plus 1. The next location like this. So let us see whether it works or not. See, it is still working. Clear? So always remember, name of the array gives you base address. In, in, in your book, it is written in an awkward way. Okay. Name of the array is called the base address. Actually, base address is nothing but the address of the first element of the array. And it can be accessed by using the name of the array. If I take the name of the array and print it, I will be printing the base address. So, these are the two ways we can print the what? Address locations of an array. Okay. Either using base address or by using array index location. So, which one is easier? First one. I will go back to the first one by undoing all this.